It's time we stepped out of the pan and into the Wendy. I mean, touch the Peter. I mean, we're going to talk Peter Pan and the Wendy. Now, I know, I know, most of you have not watched that piece of garbage that is Peter Pan and Wendy, but I figured since I tortured myself with it, I would share with you my thoughts because there is a conspiracy afoot that we may need to be aware of. Uh, Now, I'm the man you may know, Z, from Our Reviews Will Kill You. Thank you for checking us out here. We're going to talk a little bit about the garbage fire. It's not even a garbage fire. It's really just not that good. So I caught Peter and Peter Pan and Wendy. And aside from all the things you already expected, where basically the trailer gives away the entire movie. And I'm I'm not even the biggest fan of Peter Pan, so I don't really even care. Aside from the fact, and and there's going to be mild spoilers, but if you've ever seen Peter Pan, you're going to get it. So if you're Disney and you don't want to deal with problematic racial stereotypes what do you do you cast the indians as genuine indians and then immediately cut them from the movie yeah they have like one scene right and tiger lily's in it but she's like super awesome warrior pro there's a lot of (laughs) there's a lot of stuff wrong with this um it follows the same exact plot as peter pan it's like a three-act story the kids go to neverland Discover Neverland, get kidnapped, escape Neverland. Not that shocking. But there's no fun in this movie at all. Any of the fun that was in the original Peter Pan is completely gone. This is, it's drab, it's dull. None of the acting stands out. There's really nothing. Like, this is just soulless as you get. Neverland looks like grassy fields. There's nothing interesting about it. Do you remember Hook? Even though I'm, it's not one of my favorite movies of all time, but remember how like fantastical that looked? Yeah, there's none of this. Remember the mermaids? You remember mermaids? Yeah, they're in it for one 10 second scene. <laughs> if you have problematic mermaids, what do you do with them? You get rid of them. I uh, see, like Tinkerbell. People are pissed about Tinkerbell and the, and the swapping. Tinkerbell is like literally <laughs> all she does is react to things because it, it just doesn't work in live action you know and she doesn't like she's not glowing she's just like kind of sprinkles fairy dust every once in a while you'd figure she'd be this bright figure and she just reacts to things there's like something happens oh my like you can't hear a word she says because you can't hear her uh the whole thing is just an absolute mess um jude law is captain hook just not good i He's a good actor, but this is not the right character for this movie. They try to give him, they try to make him, as they do with all the Disney films now, they try to make the villains sympathetic. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know what they're doing. It's it's all very, very strange. And then, as uh, I said in my short, which will be coming out shortly, probably the same day that this comes out, you'll see that... Wendy is the second coming of Rey Skywalker. She can already sword fight, and she can already do all the things. She can lift boats. Do there's this power is not for boys. It's all it's whole thing. It's whole thing. You should not waste your time on this. And like the whole Lost Boy thing, there's girls in it. It's irrelevant. It's a kid with Down syndrome. Irrelevant. Doesn't matter. It's fine. They don't do anything. They're not impact. They have no relevance to the plot. The only thing that was mildly cool was the alligator, and the alligator was too violent for children because it's literally eating all of the pirates. It's pretty ridiculous and violent. <laughs> it's scary, it's scary, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what they were going for, but guess what? They don't have time for that because the alligator's only in it for one scene. It's none of it. <laughs> it's just not good. Not good at all. They're so busy uh, trying to undermine Peter. Peter, (laughs) as I said, he rides bitch in his own movie. He's just, he's just not, he's not there to be a hero. He's kind of a punk, which he's kind of a punk in the original movie, but he's also hit the choreography on all his fight scenes are terrible. It's just not good. It's not good. But what I think is the more interesting component 
and I, I wish I had my short for reference, and I don't, but I will de describe it to you because um, I'm going to show you something first. We're going to take a look at this. And if you recall, in the previous Pinocchio, we had a scene where Pinocchio, for no reason at all, starts smelling horse poop and wants to play with horse poop, and nobody knows why. But it's this total scene that kind of takes you out of the movie where you're like, why is he checking out horse poop? And it's almost one of those things that's like meta-commentary on the film itself. Like, why is he so obsessed with this? Why is he checking out horse poop? Are you trying to tell us something? Because I watched that one too. And what's fascinating, so let's just say it, it like took me out of the film, right? Here you have Peter Pan, or not, I mean P Pinocchio, literally playing with crap. Is someone in Disney trying to tell us something? Because I kid you not, there is a scene in Peter Pan where one of the pirates, Peter and, and Hook are about to fight, and one of the pirates has a close-up, and he goes, somebody wake me up when either one of them kills each other again. I'm going to sleep. Something along those lines, where he literally takes his hat off and is too bored to watch this, to watch the movie or participate in what's going on. It was one of those things that completely caught me off guard and threw me to make me think like, are they talking about the movie? Are they talking about this movie? Is this meta commentary? But beyond meta, not where the characters break the fourth wall, but where is this like the fifth meta? Like where they, the directors or the writers or someone is trying to tell us that these movies are garbage? Am I reading too much into this? I, I could be. You tell me in the comments below because we're also going to take a look very briefly at, and Peter cries an awful lot of this. An awful lot. Uh, the, it has dropped even further from what it was earlier. It was at 22%, I believe, earlier today, and now it's at 18% for the audience. Uh, Rotten Tomato Meter, 67 for the audience score. The, or I mean, the, for the critic score. That is ridiculous. This is a complete waste of your time let alone my time. I literally... <laughs> terrible. This is not Peter Pan. It sucked. The film was so focused on giving Hook a backstory, no adventure with mermaids, no lost boys. The only person that had personality was Tiger Lily, even though her tribe is practically absent from the whole film. Yeah, this guy's saying his kids are bored. Exactly. <laughs> just another day, just another filmographic failure. But yeah, I got the message. <laughs> Uh, just uh, simply horrible spoiled a classic story the ability to spoil something so special to all of us destroying entire context and moral of the original story it, it was just boring and bleak and just bleh. it's not even so bad that I hated it like that's the problem I didn't hate it I just was bored and didn't care it's like apathy has set in and I mean, that's kind of what I expected going into it. And I try, I tried it when I review these, try to go in with an open mind. But this one was not good. But are they trying to tell us something? Have there have there scenes I'm missing in other movies that are that could be almost taken as meta contextual, where they're literally trying to pull us out of the movie and tell us like, yeah, we know you're watching garbage. This this is hot garbage. This is literally walking down the street, seeing a pile of poop and looking at it. Or literally a, an old pirate being like, this is too boring for me. I don't know, man. I think it's happening. So just keep an eye out for it. See if you see it. Let me know down below. Catch our full-length audio podcast. It is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. And we live stream it here right on YouTube. We're also on Rumble. You can catch the live stream 7.30 p.m. Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time. We do appreciate it. Catch all our shorts. We do a lot of 10-second reviews. It's a lot of good stuff. Thank you for listening. We'll catch you on the next one because I am on to the next one.